Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I have a huge collective haul for you guys, a luxury collective haul. I bought a lot of pieces from Zimmerman, Stein Goya, Gucci, Dolce Gabbana, LV. Uh, Camila is a new brand to me and we're gonna talk about that. So there is a lot of things that I have to share with you. In fact, I was supposed to talk about three items today only, but then I realized that there are so many pieces that I haven't shared here on my channel and I thought, why not? Not just combine all together and film one big unboxing video so it might be a little bit longer than my usual videos but um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fun because all of these dresses are so freaking beautiful anyway if you're new to my channel my name is Aika I post a lot of fashion related videos shopping vlogs reviews and unboxings so if you're interested in any of these topics then make sure to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red button down below and also turn on the bell to be notified every time I post something new and if you're ready so let's start with the first dress and here it is. It is so beautiful and so flowy. This is more of a beach dress to me. It's from a brand called Camila and my mom's friend, she actually told us about it. She has so many beautiful dresses from this brand and when my mom saw it, she was like, oh, I need it too. And then she hooked me on this brand as well. This is an Australian brand and Zimmerman is actually also an Australian brand, which I didn't know. I am so impressed. This dress are so beautiful this one is in silk I love this print it's like sort of a zebra print and it has a lot of beautiful crystals on it it's just such a gorgeous dress and for summer wearing it at the beach it's perfect in my opinion and I posted a picture on my Instagram wearing this dress actually and I think it looks so fabulous. I'll also include all the mod shots. I bought this dress on sale but I'm not sure if I got it from the actual Camila website but I bought pretty much everything on sale because I just honestly cannot pay full price for ready to wear pieces unless it's Louis Vuitton or Gucci or other like high-end designer brand. Otherwise I think it's better if you wait until sales because you can save so much money on these items and this dress included it was still quite pricey I think it was a little over $500 I'm not sure but I'll try to find it and link it in the description box I'll try to link everything and by the way I always get questions about what I'm wearing in my videos so this shirt is from Zara and I did a whole unboxing video I'll link it up here so feel free to watch it if you're interested and my makeup is always the same and on my lips I'm wearing the Hermes lipstick I'll put the name over here and I will link it in the description box as well now let's move on to the next item and it's this gorgeous dress over here I love the color it's this milky white color like a creamish color it is so stunning it's from needle and thread and I specifically bought it because remember I did an unboxing of those sparkling Jimmy Choo shoes as well as the bag I will link that video over here as well but I needed a dress to go with those shoes and the clutch and I thought this was perfect because it also has um, a little bit of silver over here this little details it is so beautiful this embroidery is stunning with some crystals inside it's just so pretty it also has some crystals over here on the waistband area and it's it's beautiful I haven't worn it outside just yet but I did post some photos with this dress on and you guys seem to love it by the way if you're not following me on Instagram you should because mm, I've started experimenting with reels and I really love it and I think my reels are quite good so you should definitely <laughs> check my Instagram out as well this dress is probably my favorite it's from Zimmerman it's unbuttoned I'm, I'm sorry anyway here is the dress I love everything about this dress I already wore it a couple of times and it's so beautiful I love the colors I love this mint green with pale pink color some whites and with all these different patterns I also really love the belt that it came with I love the buttons they're so pretty and this little detail on the belt is gorgeous as well so I have two bag options for this dress this is uh, the first one it's the Sunrev bag in pale pink color I forgot the name I think it's blush pink if I'm not wrong I'm also pairing it with this beautiful silk scarf 
and this is number one what do you guys think by the way if you're interested in this bag i have a coupon code that you can use for a discount i'm gonna link it in the description box as well or there is another bag let me go get it and so here is bag number two this baby blue color is a little bit brighter than what we can see on the dress but i think it still works this is a more dressier bag so this is the chanel trendy cc in size small in this baby blue color it's a beautiful bag so it really depends on the occasion i guess and from my instagram i actually received a message from a subscriber who said she bought this dress after seeing it on me and oh my god i loved it guys if you purchase something you saw here on my channel make sure to share it with me because i love seeing that guys it is also very flowy long sleeves it is um the perfect length it's not too short but it's not long i got it in size 2 it's my regular size it's 42 italian or medium European and the other dresses are the same size so the needle and thread was 38 and Camila was small but they run a little bit big in my opinion because they're very flowy I will try to link it I'm not sure if they still have this dress there I'm pretty sure it's sold out but I'll try to find it somewhere else and link it. it comes with okay so this is something you wear under the dress because the dress itself is pretty see-through and i love that it has the same print as the dress so it's very seamless i'm not sure how you call that little dress thingy underneath let's move on to another dress it is also from zimmerman and it's this one it is so pretty as well it's very elegant very feminine and when i saw it on the website I really loved it this lace detail over here. I think it's gold lace. I'm so bad with this clothing term so please excuse me if i say something wrong but um this is also in silk it's also in size 2 fits me perfectly the length is very nice and as you can see at the bottom it's not straight it's shorter on one side and then it gets a little bit longer on the other i will put some mod shots so you guys will be able to see it the next dress is another dress from zimmerman and please excuse the hanger it's pretty ugly but it came from dry cleaning like this and I just left it here's the dress and this is my second favorite dress that I bought it just looks so good when you try it on it has this elastic band over here and it's quite a, I can't say it's short it's average it's not a mini dress per se but it's still a little bit shorter than I usually go for but i still find it very beautiful i love the sleeves they also have this elastic bands at the very end this balloon sleeve just like on all the other dresses again size two i love the print so much it's in black color but it has all this beautiful i thought this were roses i'm not sure if it's roses actually but this beautiful pink uh purple and orange flowers it also has this bow tie over here it's super cute and this whole look is so perfect for some summer night out cocktail party uh dinner by the beach or whatever <laughs> it's such a cute dress but i will also link it in the description box if you're interested next i've got another beautiful dress this is from stein goya i bought it from 24s website and it was on sale i bought it for I believe 150 Swiss francs and I thought it was so inexpensive for a silk dress I mean come on and it's really gorgeous I know it looks very baggy and super oversized but it has this two thingies so you can really tie it around your waist and I especially love the print of this dress it reminds me of those italian small towns like san remo i love san remo and it looks so similar to it it's just so beautiful it makes me happy i love the colors on this dress it has a lot of beige colors orange green blue purple pink just so many beautiful colors i will try to link it if it's still available this is a medium and they run pretty much true to size i think i could go a size down for a more fitted look but i love that it's slightly oversized and that it's very flowy 
So I really love this dress. The print is gorgeous. I'm pairing it with this RSVP bag. It is <laughs> such a gorgeous bag. I forgot the name of the color, but I'll link this bag as well. So now I've got two more dresses to share with you. And then I also have this bag from LB. It's quite small, so... Do you have any guesses? Leave a comment down below. But here is the next dress. I posted a shopping vlog um, a while back. I will link it up here if you haven't watched it. And over there, I asked you guys what should I go for? The dress or the pink cardigan or the sneakers? A lot of you voted for a cardigan and I do get why i love both equally you know it's very, it was very hard to choose but then i've realized that i can get a cardigan from somewhere else i can get a less expensive alternative let's say i've decided to go for the dress i really love denim in general and i never had a denim dress so when i tried this one on i really loved it and I have decided to go for it. It's in size 42, again, it's a medium. It's a very plain denim dress in a darker shade of blue. It has this Gucci tag over here stitched onto a pocket. Don't remember where the belt is. I think it's in my wardrobe. But anyway, I'm gonna try this dress on and I'll show you the belt. It's also a denim belt. By the way, here's the belt of the dress. I couldn't find it the other day, but it was in the bag. This dress just screams me, my personality, who I am, how I like to dress. So here we are. Lastly, I have another dress and I actually didn't buy it for myself. At first, it was supposed to be my mom's, but when I tried it on, I realized that it's gonna be a little bit too tight on her. And then I fell in love with the dress and she was like, just give it for yourself and I'm gonna get another one. And that's what we did. So, ta-da, here it is. It's this very classic dress from Dolce & Gabbana. This print is everything. It has so many beautiful flowers in white, purple and red and beige. It's just so beautiful. I love everything about this dress. It's cotton, it's not silk, but the material is like you can feel that it's of a high quality it is very flattering when you try it on it is also one of those flowy dresses and i love that this goes off the shoulder a little bit i don't know it's just such a pretty dress and I never had a dress from Dolce & Gabbana. This is my first one and it goes so well with my red Constance bag from her mess, forgot the name. So I'm decided to keep it. What do you guys think? It is such a beautiful dress and I really want to go to Italy this summer wearing this dress over there. I'm pretty sure it's not happening with what's going on. But anyway, this dress can wait. I think it's one of those timeless pieces just like all the other dresses that I bought and I'm pretty sure they're gonna last me years and years. I don't regret any of these purchases. And lastly, let's unbox this little cutie from Louis Vuitton. This is actually an item from my wish list um, that I posted as well on my channel. I will link it up here and then in the description box. This is the box it came in. And it's right over here. I'm sure you guys know what it is. I've always wanted one and I finally have it. And it's so perfect. So the item that I got is this beautiful Dauphine belt. I can wear it like this. It's a monogram on this side or like this. It's white on the other side. I always wanted a belt. I didn't have any belts in my collection and I always wanted one because they just add that little something more to the outfit. The whole outfit just looks more put together, especially for me. I wear jeans all the time and whenever I want to tuck in a jumper or a t-shirt or a shirt, it just looks sort of empty, like something's missing and that something is a belt. It's in size 80. The reason I've decided to go for this one in particular is because 
Number one, I love the Dauphin bag. You know how much I love it and it's always on my wish list, but right now I'm just not ready for another monogram bag. And I thought getting this buckle from the Dauphin line is perfect since I love it so much. And then I wasn't sure about the color I wanted to go for. At first I thought black, but then I'm like, well, black is a little bit too dark. It's not like my favorite favorite color although i wear black all the time in real life especially during winter but since it's springtime i have a lot of new dresses to style this belt with i was like i think i should get a white one and you know it looks good with both the dresses but also jeans i tried them on with both so here is the belt with jeans and I think it looks really good. The whole outfit just doesn't look that good without the belt, but when you have it picking through a little bit, it looks so much better. And also, as I mentioned, I can style this belt with both jeans and dresses, and this is one of the options. So I removed the original Gucci belt and instead I put this LV Dauphine belt and I've paired it together with my bobby bag in white. Here is the complete look so which one is your favorite guys the original belt fendi bag and this shoes or a new belt and my bobby bag belt was 575 swiss francs and i think that's an average price for a belt i thought it was very expensive at the beginning because i remember belts were like 300 back in the day when I bought my first Gucci belt but prices obviously have gone up and I checked from different designers for similar belts like Dior for example the saddle belt from Dior that I bought for my mom it is pretty much the same price I was like well if these are the prices now I just have to swallow it and grab it. Anyway, guys, this is it for my today's video. Once again, I'll try to link everything in the description box, so make sure to check it out if you like any of these items. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!